Hello friends, my name is Miss D and I work at the Worthington Park Library and I'm here with five fantastic books for any of you third graders out there. So let's get into them, shall we? So the first book I have for you is actually one of my favorite children's series and it's called The Bad Guys by Aaron Blabby. Now, what does a wolf, a shark, a snake, and a piranha have in common? Hmm. Well, they're all bad guys. Or at least that's what we think. Well, Mr. Wolf wants to change all that. He's tired of being a bad guy. So he decides to round up a gang of the worst villains to form a good guys group. But it's not as easy as it seems. A lot of them don't believe they're good guys and they actually want to stay bad guys. So they end up completing different missions to make them good guys so that their name in the press would be, would be better than how it is now. And their first mission, to release every dog out of the dog pound. Well, a couple of hijinks ensues and things don't really go as pl planned. If you want to read on, you should read The Bad Guys by Aaron Blabby. And there's actually 11 books in these series. Okay, let's get into our second novel. So the second novel I have for you is about a third grade inventor. And this book is called Frankie Sparks in the, Cl in the Class Pet by Megan Fraser Blakemore. And Frankie is actually a third grader, just like many of you, and she loves inventing things. Science is actually one of her favorite pro um, one of her favorite subjects. Well, right now her class is doing a class project to figure out what would be the what animal would be the best class pet. Now Frankie has high opinions. She believes that a rodent or a rat would be the best class pet. But she has to convince her teacher, her classmates, and her best friend Maya that a rodent would be the best. Maya actually thinks a betta fish is kind of, is a betta fish would be the best class pet. But Frankie doesn't agree. So she has to do a little bit of convincing. If you want to read on, you should read on if you want to find out what class, what pet ends up being the best for their class. Read Frankie sparks in the class pet okay are there any people out there who enjoy spooky books don't worry I have one for you it is called Erie Elementary the school is alive by Jack Chabert and this is also a series now this book is about Sam Graves and it's his first day as hall monitor at Erie Elementary and there's always creepy things happening at this school. On his first day, he's almost devoured by quicksand. He hears strange noises throughout the halls. And the school is trying to eat him. Well, him and everyone else. But Mr. Nakobe is there to save the day. He was actually, way, way back in the day, he was the hall monitor and things like this happened but now he's the school's groundskeeper. And Mr. Nakobe tries to teach Sam all the weird and strange things that happen in the school and how he can save the day before the school ends up eating everyone in it. If you wanna happen, if you wanna read what happens next, you should read Erie Elementary, The School is Alive. So for all my fantasy book fans, I think I have the perfect book for you. The book I have is called Dragons in a Bag by Zeta Elliott. Dragons in a Bag is about a boy named Jax. And Jax is sent by his mother to spend the day with a mean old lady who actually goes by the name Ma. Now, Jax discovers that Ma is actually a witch. And the same day that he gets there, Ma gets a package in the mail. And the package is actually baby dragons. And there are two rules with the baby dragons. The first rule, never let them out of the bag. And the second rule, 
don't under any any circumstances feed them anything sweet why well chaos ensues it is Jack's and Ma's mission to deliver the baby dragons to the correct magical world in which they are supposed to be in but things don't go according to plan and soon the baby dragons are stolen so it's up to Jax to save the day and figure out who stole the dragons and to deliver them to the right portal before it's too late. So if you want to find out what happens next, read Dragons in the Bag by Zeta Elliott. And there's actually a book too to this. So the last book I have for you today is A Sweet Tale. This book is, has actually been made into a movie that's on Disney Plus currently, and the second book is, was just published a couple months ago, and I can't wait to read it. I haven't read, read it yet, but I can't wait to read it. But the book I have for you is called The One and Only Ivan by Katherine Applegate. Now, this book is about a lowland gorilla named Ivan. And Ivan was captured when he was a baby by humans. And when he got too big, the humans sent him to live in a circus mall. And he spends all his days trapped in a cage, painting and watching various television, so, television shows. It's lonely, but he has a couple of friends to keep him company, such as an older elephant named Stella a dog named Bob, and the caretaker and his daughter. And it's the only life Ivan knows, so he just copes with it. That's until the circus ma receives a new animal, a baby elephant named Ruby. And Ruby doesn't, doesn't know anything. She was taken from her family and she's lost and she just wants to go back home to where she belongs. Well, Ivan feels bad for her, but he doesn't know what to do. Stella, since Stella's an older elephant, there's only so much she can do. She's very tired. So she tells Ivan to promise her that if for whatever reason she's not there, that he will make it his mission, his mission to save the baby elephant and get her out of that place so that he so that the baby elephant doesn't end up trapped in that circus mall like all the all the rest of the animals there to see if Ivan is successful you should read the one and only Ivan by Katherine Applegate well friends those are all the stories I have for you today uh, if you're interested in seeing any if you're interested in checking out any of these titles, you can visit any of the three Worthington Library branches. Can't wait to see you there. Have a good one. Bye.